Did you see that naked guy? Step away from the building. Did you start the paramedics yet? Yeah. Oh, crap. I'm a nurse. You're okay. You're okay. Just don't move. Can you tell me your name? Trevor. Okay, Trevor. We're just gonna take you to the hospital. Sound good? Sure. Walensky. Three broken ribs, concussion, 30 stitches in the legs, 16 on the arm. You're lucky. Most guys who try to off themselves end up a lot worse. I wasn't trying to kill myself. I'm actually anti-death, my, my own in particular. I'm a somnambulist, which brings me to my favorite question. Did you see my balls? Yes, I did. Uh, I sleepwalk. I, I'm so sorry. Wow. So why the naked part? Yeah, that's sort of the cosmic pubic joke of the whole thing. Again, I, I'm so, so sorry you had to see my danglers. Apology accepted. You ever consider pajamas? I've tried. I can't sleep. If anything is on me, it's constricting. Well, that is a perfect storm. Oh, my life is a disaster. Uh, I'm an astronomer, or I should be, but I couldn't go to sleepaway college. I should be working at NASA right now. Instead, I'm a docent at the planetarium. And I refuse to be bitter. Can I be alone? Yeah. <sighs> Bogey, six o'clock. Hey, Trevor, wake up. Wake up. Hey, hey, hey. Come on. Wake up. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. No, no, no. You're not supposed to touch a sleepwalker, it's dangerous. Well, what am I supposed to do? Just let him nude cruise through this hole? Whoa. Oh. Trevor. Go back to bed, Trevor. Oh. The apartment was an experiment. We always knew that. The experiment failed. It's time to come home. How are we doing here? I'm 28. I'm earning minimum wage. I've lived on my own for less than 90 days, and now my mother's insisting that I move back in. I guess the good news is she's seen my junk so many times it doesn't even register as junk anymore, which is disturbing on multiple levels. Do you not see how this situation cries out for pajamas? Can you say that to overdose, please? Don't encourage him, nurse. You'll be living rent-free, with meals, and unlimited rummy queue. Is that so terrible? Yes. She leaves out the part about being locked in a windowless room every night. You lock him in? Really? We have to take precautions. You've seen what happens when he's on his own. He had a bad night. There's got to be other solutions. When Trevor was 12, he walked into a house across the street during one of his episodes. My husband and I woke to the sound of a gunshot. They thought he was a prowler, and they shot him. They shot my boy. So, don't talk to me about so-called solutions. He's all I have now. Get some rest. I'll be back later to take you home. So, the scar on your back? Yeah. Clonopin. Had it. Prosom? Yep. Trazodone. Weak sauce. Well, it's always possible there's an underlying medical condition, sleep apnea, seizures. Magnesium deficiency, stress. I could teach a clinic. What about that stuff Michael Jackson had? That was propofol. Can I get that? No. Maybe you should try some alternative solutions. Lay off the drugs for a while. That's a good idea. You know, my wife tried hypnosis to help her quit smoking. I tried that once. Let's just say the case is pending. People outside the medical field are less forgiving about unsolicited marble bag displays. Trevor, 
pajamas. Uh, well, let's give Trazodon another shot, shall we? Sonia, if you could get that going for Mr. Walensky, I'm sure he would like some much-needed sleep. Poor guy. There's got to be something else we can do. No, I don't know what else to suggest. It's not really a medical issue. Well, it's going to be when he ends up under the wheels of a semi. I'm sorry, my hands are tied. Get out of this. Where's Trevor? Is any in Look. Sending you off to Rikers. Yeah, well, I won't get raped playing a rummy cue. You know, it's not like you're a minor. If you wanted to live on your own, no one would stop you. Think I don't know that? Okay, forget it. Forget I even tried. Sorry, look, yes, I could keep my apartment, you know, take precautions, add locks, but she'd drive herself crazy worrying about me. And ultimately, I can't do that. Thank you for trying. Maybe we should have let him jump. Maybe you should have gone home with him, hit that B flat every time he gets out. Wait, Trevor, don't go anywhere. Trevor, Mrs. Walensky, I'd like you to meet Trevor's new alarm clock. His name's Crystal. You call him Crystal? It's a long story, but trust me, you make one false move during the night, this little guy will bark his head off. I could keep my apartment. Mom. But you don't like dogs. I can make an exception. That's what people do, right? You'll still come for game night? Always. Mom. <laughs> Thank you. It's my pleasure, believe me. Crystal. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs>